Hello everyone, welcome to Redline Diecast Cars, your source for really nice Hot Wheel Redline era toys, Mattel manufactured 1968 through 1977. And what I do with these cars is typically, for the most part, I run a live auction on a Facebook site called Studio Dash Redline. Uh, we'll be running this coming uh, Tuesday, the 16th of August. Some of the cars I'm going to be doing a choice lot, like these turbo fires. Lime, that olive that I had earlier. So lime, olive, and beautiful gold with a very light colored gold hatch. Dark and glossy. That's a nice car. So I'll be running a couple of choice lots. Here's the first choice slot. And then in, in, sprinkled in amongst the red lines, the quality red lines will be some of the um, oh individual castings like this early run. Classic 57. Yeah, look at this bird. Yep, early run. You can tell by the gas tank. And the other th way of telling the car if it's early run is the council on the inside. See how this kind of... The console is sort of tucked to the right side of the steering wheel. It's sort of um, square. You can tell that the um, Mattel changed the interior of the early run versus the later run. Yeah, you can tell by the gas tank and by the console. And then I'm going to be running this coupe. Little hood nick there, no buttons. It's blue and it is a nice Spectra Flame blue for your rainbow sweet car uh let's see let me jump around a little bit here let's see okay i can squeeze these couple in here i have a couple custom continentals the first one's going to be red red custom conti and then uh, along with the red i'm going to do a green we're going to do a little Christmas theme here. <laughs> Red and green. Why not? Yeah, Custom Continentals. Those are fun, fun cars for your rainbow. 1969 manufactured. It's got uh, the hoods do open up. This one's a little gingerly, which is good. No, no hood neck on this one. Look at that Ford power in there. Beautiful. It's a nice car. All right. So the turbo fires will be coming off the tray here. Like I said, we're going to be running at 7 o'clock Central on Studio Dash Redline starting on the 16th of August. That's next Tuesday. And I hope you can join us. I really do. It's a lot of fun. You learn about the castings as well. So one of the, um, I, I guess, the benefits of joining us for the auction is to learn a little bit about something more about Redlines. There's always something to learn about this hobby. There's so many different attributes about the castings. It's a nice splitter here in light blue. That's a nice car. Look at light blue versus dark blue. See the difference between the two? Both 69s. Yeah, baby. Nice car. And then uh, this will be a choice lot as well. This little choice here of the splitters, I'm going to do a gold. Look how dark that gold is. Isn't that pretty? Splitter in gold. And then the last splitter will be in, oh man, this is a nice one too. Look at that red. Oh baby, that is a nice little splitter. Didn't paint the headlights, of course, and on the red and the orange. No painted headlights. Look at the color difference between the Custom Continental and the splitter. They're both made in 1969, both red. The Conti's got a little bit of tone to it, but uh, gosh, you know, Trying to pick up some nice red lines? You betcha. Don't be shy. We have room for you. Stop on by. Hey, I got a black roof. Rolls Royce, Silver Shadow. The thing with this car is I could not get that hood opened up. That's as far as it goes. It's very, very tough to open up. I'm not going to force it because I don't want to bend the cowl. But uh, you're looking for a nice Silver Shadow with black roof ver variation. There, yeah, go. White interior, awesome. Six shooter in light blue. 
Perfecto. This is a nice car. Clean, shiny. It's got the floater axle in the middle. Boy, those are nice reds too, aren't they? Sweet. Sweet. Get rid of those. Oh, hey, this is nice. I have a naked jet threat. Why do I say it that way? Is because the, the, the uh, former owner didn't put the stickers on them. The side stickers are not there. I like it. I really do. I like a jet thread when it's um, it's clean like that because sometimes the stickers actually take away the paper stickers. There's a turban. Takes away from the uh, original canopy, from the beauty of the car, the beauty of the Spectra Flame. That's a nice green, isn't it? Of course it is. I know you're shaking your head yes. <laughs> and then, um, hey, heavy Chevy. This is a club car. Um, there it is, the base. I saw one the other day. Someone put one up on one of the sites, and it was a, and then they, and they knew it. It was a repaint, but it was not the original club car series. Uh, this one is. Look at that grill. What a beaut. Original roundels, too. Original stripes. You can tell there's no indentations. Soup Dirty Duper. That's a nice car. All righty, daddy. And then I'm going to have a couple of, um, a couple of Dodge custom char a custom Dodge Chargers. This is going to be a green custom Dodge Charger. Of course, the white interior only made in the U.S. of A. Look at the green difference between the Jet Threat and the the Dodge Charger. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Classic Nomad in blue. Beautiful. She be beautiful. Shiny. Cool beans. That's a nice uh, nice nomad. Nomads are nice for your um, rainbows as well. I like them. You like them. How about orange? People like orange too. Nice clean grill. Beautiful orange. Sweet. I ran one of these last week. Boy, it garnered a lot of attention too. It was so darn clean. So is this one. Got another one. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. Yeah, a nice sweetheart. Nikki, get this out of here. These are going bye-bye. Oh, here, I'm going to make some room here. Hang on. i got to make some room. This is going to be cool. I'm going to run these two together, <clears throat> a snake and a mongoose. The, um, the snake here is super-duper clean, no stickers. Prop, not broken. Snake and mongoose, and they came um, in the same. They came from the same collector. Now I don't know if if that collector, you know, originally had these because neither of them have stripes on them. One is a very tarnished base. The snake. This is the mongoose. The snake does not. So it's tough to tell. Maybe it's just the the. I don't know. The effect of the metal, who knows, but these will be run together. It'll be a set. Um, they came from the same person, so I'm going to sell them uh, as as a, um, they come together all one money on this. So that'll be fun. It'll be a fun little add to someone's collection. Actually, maybe I'll make it a choice. You, you can have a choice of those. And then, um, oh, another heavy. Hey, I didn't realize I had another heavy going on this one. Heavy Chevy in green, original round, original stripes. Pretty clean, pretty nice. Hope you're enjoying this video. Do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and like if you can. Helps me to keep the uh, channel going in a positive direction. Not that it's not going now, but I always like to have a little bit uh, more participation if we could. Comments, suggestions, you know, what are you looking for? Can you join us for the auction? Would you like to just watch? You don't have to buy. There's no expectations, but certainly like your presence. You may see something that catches your eye like this Hong Kong Custom Firebird. Hey, in blue. Sweetheart. That's a nice car. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're going to have all colors of the spectrum here. Colors in the rainbow. Of um, Hey, look at this. This is a U.S., but it's got the Hong Kong glass. Uh, maybe someone took that interior out. I tried to jimmy it out of there. I couldn't get it out. So 
I don't think it's a factory error. I think someone just replaced that, but you get a U.S. casting with a Hong Kong glass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it happens, right? It happens if someone changes it out. I don't think the factory did that, but that's just my, that's just my guess. I don't know. Beautiful custom Corvette. This is a lime. Look at that color. Nice lime. Little tarnished base. Thank you, Harry Bradley. From Mattel Toy Company. Made in the U.S. of A. And then, hey, you know what? Every once in a while, I'll have a nice Diora with original boards. This is going to be sold with original boards. Original shoes. Really nice. Look at the back. Sweet, huh? Yep, those are... Those are OG. They're the numbers. Told you. You know, someone's going to get a nice Diora with original boards on the back there. Okay. All right, last two. Here we go. Last two is going to be, you know, this is sweet. A lot of people like this car. The uh, original 1967 base custom Camaro. I think we got a drooper here. Yeah. So one pe one pen one pen one pin is not attached, unfortunately. And I don't know if I can tell inside there if the pin's there or not. The pin is there. I see it. I see the pin, guys. There it is. Are you with me? It just doesn't seat. Yep. That's I see that all the time uh, with these early runs. The issue with uh, uh, Hong Kong manufactured cars with that issue. But still a classic. And then to top it all off, here's the icing on the cake. You ready for the cherry? The cherry on top? <laughs> you betcha. Custom Dodge Charger in line. This thing is beautiful. Custom Dodge Charger in L-I-M-E. It is a gorgeous. What a, what a smoke show. Someone's going to get themselves a nice Custom Dodge Charger. Super shiny. Okay, everybody. So here's the deal. Hope you can show up. Hope you can join us on the 16th of August, starting at 7 o'clock Central on the Facebook site called Studio Dash Redline. I'm going to have all kinds of these beautiful cars. Could be some surprises to you. never know. Bob Ross invites you to come. Yeah, he's shaking his head. He wants you to join. So if you can, come. hey, you know what? He's got a compadre, too. Another Bob Ross. Yeah, you know, um, people have been sending me these little figurines. Here's a Lego man. For um, They're my customer, my guests, and they're sending me this kind of stuff. They're saying, Jim, we think you sound like Bob Ross. <laughs> Do like and subscribe. Always enjoy your comments. Um, looking for red lines. Hey, I buy red lines. So if you know anybody that's, um, that's selling any red lines... <clears throat> A original Mattel. I'm buying them. Please contact me at electriccharge.me.com. 262 441 3839. I'm always looking to buy red lines. Uh, hit me up. Send me a text. Send me an email. And I will be fair. Give you a nice evaluation of the cars. Until then, bye everybody.